What up, YouTube? This is JT again, man. I'm over here with the, the ducklings. You know, we got Precise digging on the floor, looking for, digging on the fucking floor, looking for food. Because, you know, he's homeless and a bum. And you got the bottom feeder, Maxwell Bear, right here. I don't know where Thunderdome went. He over there. Oh, there you go. Thunderdome. What's good, man? He got this red shit all in his face, this big rash. He over here smoking. He gotta lose some weight, man. He's, this motherfucker said he gonna live a three day binge with some crack cocaine, man. Thunderdome right here, the duckling. Red shit all on his face, red warts and fucking boils and shit. Man, you better leave that crack alone, man. But anyway, dude, this JT, man, the motherfucker who, who's dominating life. And, um, we gonna talk about this Triple G and Canelo shit, man, because the shit is, is is old, man. You know, I just listened to Dan Raphael, you know, a fucking fat fuck man defender, man. It's just, it's disgusting, man. This guy, he's on Ellie Sackback videos, man, just constantly got an excuse for every motherfucking thing, Triple G, man. Like, this dude, like, god damn, man. Like, what don't you motherfuckers understand about this shit, man? I mean, dude, Canelo is 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 not gonna fight Triple G, you know, and right now, you know, not anytime soon. I don't see the fight happening next year. I think it'll probably happen 2018. I think Canelo would have to move up to to middleweight and fight uh Jesse uh and fight Billy Ho Saunders, man. Pick up that WBO, you know, and then there's a possibility of a fight happening after he defends that title, man. I think Canelo would have to at least fight one legitimate middleweight, man. You know, he, he's not going to just go up and fight Triple G, man. You know, that that's just retarded, man. You know, what he would need to do, he's going to he's gonna have to um, acclimate himself to the weight, man. They should do like a three-fight deal, kind of like Kovalev and Ward did, man. You know, both guys take a few fights. Canelo, you know, let's see him in there with Billy Joe. Let's see him in there with, you know, throw him some common opponents as Triple G, man. Let's see him in there with David Lemieux, you know, guys like that. And, and we'll see how it goes, man. But um, I don't see this fight happening until 2018, man. Probably Cinco de Mayo, but most likely September-ish of 2018. Golovkin will be damn near 36 years old, man. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is, man. What Golovkin wants is people to bend over backwards and bow down to him. He doesn't want to take any sacrifice. He doesn't want to do shit, man. He's basically trying to use, like, white privilege in boxing. And, you know, you got these convicted crackheads out here, and you got these fat fucks. They out here making excuses for him, man. You know, he has to sacrifice like anyone else in boxing, man. You're not just going to get handed everything, man. You know? You gotta sacrifice like everyone else. So, you know, take the money and shut the fuck up. If you're gonna beat him, then beat him. But I don't understand you motherfuckers, man. You know, Canelo is a smaller man moving up. So essentially, it's Golovkin fighting another smaller man. You know, so but you still want the smaller man to bow down to the bigger fighter, the the champion at the weight. You know, you know, Canelo is a smaller man. Period. He has not campaigned at middleweight, full middleweight. He's fought a couple fights at a fucking catch weight, and you guys get all on your high horse and want to, you know, basically shame Canelo in the fight and Golovkin just to, to satisfy your man defending needs. Like, dude, Canelo doesn't need Golovkin, man. He just sold 60,000 seats at Dallas Cowboy Stadium, and Golovkin is fighting fucking Dominic Wade and shit and, and fighting welter welterweights. He just fought Kell Brook, a guy who's going to go back down to welterweight. You know, so that's a shitty fight. You know? Golovkin needs to fight Daniel Jacobs, make that fucking fight happen. And then, um, you know, and then come back to Canelo talking that fly shit, man. You know? Because right now, Canelo is the man in boxing, man. You know? Bigger than Anthony Joshua, bigger than any of those motherfuckers. Just because you can sell tickets 
in, in your hometown in, in England, in London, you know, doesn't make you the biggest in the whole sport of boxing. Boxing is a global thing, you know? And, and, and people know Alvarez, man. You know, people know Canelo here, Mexico, around the world, man. And Canelo is the man. And he might fuck around and beat the fuck out of Triple G just based on the fact that Canelo is a slick boxer, got more explosive quickness and defense, and he's just, you know, he's that dude, man. Got more experience, more, you know, we'll just have to see, man. But you guys, you know, want to say Golovkin is the favorite to win by knockout, but you're still up in your feelings because you're mad because this fight isn't happening, you know? It's a fucking fight, man. It is what it is. You know? I'm not going to stop watching boxing because a fucking man doesn't get a fight, man. You guys are too in love with Golovkin, man. Get girlfriends. Get a prostitute. Whatever you got to do, man. Go go to Mexico. Go to uh, Tijuana and go in a brothel and, and get some hookers or something, man. Because, you know, we know that's all you can do. You can't get girls. That's why you're so attached to men online. You're attached to convicted crackheads. You're attached to boxers. You guys are fucking queers, man. So just go ahead and do your own thing, man. But yeah, man, I'm just out here enjoying enjoying a day, man. I'm about to head back to the condo, man. It's the young Uno JT. I'm out.